these, mm. I'm a little bit worried. Why? You just look like the, the passion's gone. It looks like you've lost your, your zest well, that, for the game. That's exactly right. That's how I feel. I mean, I haven't got passion because I'm just engulfed by golf. And I'm tired of it a little bit. And, uh, yeah. and have you thought about ways of potentially getting this back and, and getting the spark back? In no. the relationship you have with this beautiful game? <laughs> no, I haven't at all. But there's got to be a way where we can come up with an idea no. that gets you back into the game well, and will... recaptures the passion. Well, I'm willing to play you <laughs> whatever this game is. There you go. When you started playing, hmm. what was your bag set up? Oh, well, I only had a few clubs. I had four clubs. I'd... Yeah, that was it. Yeah, what were they? Well, I had a wedge, I had a seven iron, driver and a punter. That's it. Right. And why did you only have four? Because well, Mum said she wasn't getting any more <laughs> until I got down about 12 handicaps, so that was it. And did they get the job done? Yeah. So when was the last time you went out and played 18 holes? Just with four or five club? Dees, oh. half sets. Talk to me. And what have you gone with? Mate, I've gone with the, just the gaps. Driver, then three, five, seven, nine, sandwich, putter. Okay. That makes sense. It does. To some. <laughs> what do you know? Three. And then I've gone even. Hang on, no driver. No driver. But not only that, because I make all my money from 100 metres and in, I'm starting at 6 iron, 6 8, pitch, 52 58, putter, 3 wood. Because the money maker, that's what I am. <laughs> well, and I can't hit driver like you, and this way it explains why I'm further behind. So. <laughs> but the best part about a half set really is it, is it, it can simplify your decision making. You know, driver, that's all I got. I haven't got a 3 wood or I haven't got anything yeah. else, so it's just bomb it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which I like that. Cut around. So. That'll work. I think it's going to leave you with an awkward decision for you next. <laughs> <laughs> Get the old uh, old school brassy, basically. The three well, wood. If you just nudge, nudge, get within 100 metres, mm. then all the clubs come into play. And I can hit everything in my bag from 100 metres and in. Mind you, the way you hit that thing, you should never have a driver in your hand. That's incredibly good. You are impressed with it, aren't you? I always am. And light. And light, yes. But how light is it so you can walk everywhere? <laughs> All right, so 162 hole. With this air, I can only hit 7 iron about 150 and 5 iron obviously 170. So I do need a 160 club, which I don't have. I've got to then either jack a 7 iron, and in this condition, no chance, or smooth a 5. And, and it's that part of the half set game that I love. It's just being creative and dealing with what you've got. So, knock down five iron, it is. Horses for courses. So, is the half set for you, Phil? Well, I think that's me, Dean. Yes. So I think that's me. I think having to think about and relearn how to play the game as opposed to just hitting balls. We'll do it, and I can see myself using a half set for, like, going forward. I think that's me. Might break the 12 handicap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, Give us it? something else. I tell you what, there's another. Uh, I used to play cross-country golf as the sun was setting at my club when I was a junior, and that was some of the best fun I ever had, right? off from one tee to the other side of the course. And the thing I enjoyed about it the most is like it got you into new pockets of your golf course. Yeah. You know, parts of the land you'd never seen, shots you'd never actually had to play. Uh, it was incredibly fun. Yeah, I haven't done that for decades. Well, let's give it a shot. All right, Phil, cross country golf. You mean holes that aren't holes? <laughs> <laughs> Those ones. Yeah, right. We're going places that, well, I don't know where we're going actually. Let's go from 12 tee, yeah. where we are, Let's go 15 green. That, I don't know how long that is, but that's a long way. Yeah, that's long. And you're how going first. <laughs> so how much, how, how much, where am I? Well, we don't know the carries on uh, on any part of that so lake, so that's why you're going first. How safe am I going to yeah. <laughs> Show me the way, mate. How safe was my cactus? <laughs> I reckon you got the reeds covered. Oh, well, it's a long way. This will be interesting. Well, it's a good sighter. 
Oh, but it's a bit of a tiger line. Are you oh, over? Just needs to... Are you over? Yeah, it is. It's not by much. Oh, I think I'm... That... Yeah, that's in the light rough. Oh. Well done. All right. I really? know where you're I'm going. Go... Straight <laughs> to the traps. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go, but it might go in the water. Go on, do it. I'll try. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. That is over, but... Oh, yeah, by a hundred. Oh. Yeah. Wow. This is the best thing about holes that aren't holes. Seriously, or cross-country golf, because you don't know is where you're going. Is it a par four or a par three? <laughs> it actually doesn't matter. Exactly right. Brilliant. But how's the view? Let's holes go, that aren't holes. Let's go find them. That's a chance. That's a chance. Oh, don't say that. Oh, oh. Don't say that. I mean, I'm happy for you. <laughs> you know the best thing about holes that aren't holes, Phil? We've got no idea if this is for birdie or eagle. Oh, no, it's for eagle. <laughs> for sure. Got a chance. Go. Oh, come on. Oh. Nice albatross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, don't do oh, it. I tried to hit it hard. I'd like to give that to you, but I can't because <laughs> I'm not sure what I'd be doing. Well, yeah. another Robert Trust. <laughs> but to stand on a tee and just go, where else can we go? Yeah. There's something nice and refreshing about it, not knowing what's about well, to happen. It's just absolute freedom <laughs> on an unbelievable paddock. And I love it. Where to from here? <laughs> I've got another one for you. All right. This idea of recapturing a bit of old school mm. golf, and I'm not talking necessarily about turn of the century, but I'm talking about like a, an early 80s or a mid 80s, right. whereby we would have to use, mm. and I reckon thanks to my mate Willow mm. for a chance. Best mate Willow. Yeah. Spalding Tour Editions. Oh. And see if we can't cope the way they did back in the day and see how bad we've become <laughs> at this game. <laughs> What have you got? Retro golf tees. <laughs> now, some of us like you don't own any old stuff. Wow. And so you rely on people like me who own a lot of old stuff. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Look at these. And every set of retro clubs have got a story behind them. So you've got a set of irons here that I bought, I reckon in 1988 from the pro shop at La Trobe. Wow. Yep. And you've got some ping woods like that you. are made of wood. <laughs> In my bag, I've got my favourite golf clubs in the world. Oh my god, eh? Top flight LT grind with the little Lee Trevino, the sombrero on them. And then just a couple of persimmon woods that I might have whacked around a time or two. So retro golf, really? this idea of using old stuff. I don't know what to tee off with, the two iron on my driver. I want to well, hit both. I've got another gift for you. Where else you Because oh, you also get to use some retro balls. So you're going to play Spalding Tour Edition. Oh my god. The original Top Flight Strata Tour. Retro golf. Roll it back whenever you want. Look at the box. And if you lose your passion for the modern game, get old. Take oh. it back a bit. Bring it on. All right, here we go. How <laughs> good's it sound? Oh. You really can play, can't you? I still got to hit a two on. <laughs> oh. Can you get ready to yell four roll? <laughs> <laughs> Flushed it. See? Come off the hill. Members bounce. Members bounce. You know what? I am hitting that two on. <laughs> I just have to. So you should. Now this is, I, this is my favourite shot in golf. Two irons, which now don't exist, and just stinging the heck out of them. Right, there's something about retro golf, Phil. I'm in. <laughs> Absolutely playing the course like you, <laughs> like you know every roll. All right, Dees. What do we have? 177 front, you got 192 middle. Now, this is not a retro watch, mind you. So. Tell you what, the thing about the retro is they uh, don't give you much off the tee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, 177. I'm going to need a four iron, and I don't think I'm any chance of getting there. Um, but that's the game. Run it up. Change the way you think about it. All right, I'll do what you did. Aim out right <laughs> and try to get the members bounce. 
Oh, you oh, you have. Go, big bounce. Oh, geez. Oh, it ran oh. in there nicely, but it's still short. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Retro. <laughs> Love to know how this feels off the putter. Oh. I actually hit that where I wanted for once. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm going to count that. I didn't. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Tell you what, this old golf's hard. At least he didn't fall over it trying to stop the putter hitting it. <laughs> oh, what's that putter? We've been through this. It's my design by Ben Crenshaw. With the Latrobe Golf Club stamp in the face. Well, I should have putted with that. I've had since 1991. Looks like you could hold everything. Oh, I better get the whole Norman Crenshaw. Oh, I just pulled that eight. Yes, oh. Norman. <laughs> I said Norman. <laughs> but, but retro golf. Yeah. Is that enough to get the passion back for you? Well, mate, of course it's enough to get the passion back because it's just bringing you back to an era that is, you know, where the game kind of started. I love it. That's right. And for me, not, where the game started is so insulting given the fact that this is all gear that I used. <laughs> so thanks for that. But this is all stuff. There's a reason I haven't parted with it. Mm. It's because I look at it and oh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe I need to relearn how to hit it. Well, yeah. Aim small, miss small. We learned to hit that. That was terrible. Yeah, that's delicious. <laughs> that is delicious.